Hello everyone, so I am back again with some more football news. Of course, 18 teams have qualified for the third and final round of the FIFA World Cup qualifiers for Asia. All right, now China survived by a whisker to put themselves a place. Okay, and now there's other teams like Australia, like Oman, Pakistan, Japan, Korea, who have also qualified in this round with 18 teams. Now, these 18 teams are going to be divided into six groups of three teams each and from there this is when they are going to take the top winner of each group to go and represent asia at the qualifiers however two more teams will have to do to, to go through playoffs okay so asia has got eight spots in the new world cup you know uh doing that as a med you know uh now the world cup is going to be featuring 48 teams and eight of those are going to come from asia and then 10 are going to come from Africa. So quite interesting there. So I can run down some of the teams that have qualified so that you can see for yourself. Qatar, they've qualified Kuwait, Japan, South Korea, uh, North Korea, China, Oman, Kazakhstan, Iraq, and Uzbekistan, Indonesia, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Australia, you know, Palestine. So these are the teams that have qualified to the third and final round. It has been crazy the way they've been qualifying, you know, because they what they did they did is they, they made it two, two, two tournaments. There's also going to be another Asian Cup that is going to be played in Qatar 2027. So they put them together. So the qualification in you know, the process was very, very long for them. For them to reach to this point where they have 18 teams left now, it has been crazy, like super, super crazy. So that is what I'm saying. For a team like China, they even have made it to this top 18 teams. Then they did themselves very good, you know. However, I think in their last match, they lost. You know, I've been following these games and watching them, okay. And um, uh, the football itself, you know, not very, very competitive, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll say they're not very competitive compared to African football. However, they do have the resources. You can actually tell that, well, this, you know, it's well organized, you see. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm not downgrading my continent but i'm just saying you know like we've seen a lot of you know african teams not having home grounds having to go and play their home grounds in some other you know countries from that so those are some of the things that i'm just referring, referring to so yes euro 2024 is here and dress up for an exciting exciting coverage of football and if you've not yet followed our channel please subscribe stay comment engage us tag us wherever you are we are always there because football is in our blood if you follow it we are always there and remember we do it timely verified and it's always so then